There's a book of Luke, chapter 17, and verse 21. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Luke chapter 17, verse 21. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders, our great millstone, who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, it's the brother Aaron coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and uh, today is December 21st, 2022 AD, the year where Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai turns up. All right, and, um, you know, uh, just, you know, going through the spirit. All right. <laughs> hey, man, the Lord is doing some great things. All right. Most high Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai. All right, it's doing some great things, man. And um, <clears throat> I was just uh, basically talking to my Eve, all right, about certain things that's been going on, you know, and in, um, in our personal lives, all right. And you know, being that we are spiritual, you know, uh, uh, men and women, all right, everything that happens in our lives, we understand that it, there's a, a spiritual significance behind it, all right. Whether you're going through, you're catching hell, all right. Whether you're, you know, you're being a base. Or whether you're bound, okay. No matter what situation you're in, there's always some type of spiritual uh, significance behind that, okay. You know, and you know, you go through your ups and downs, all right. That's what that's what it's all about to have balance, okay. And you know, as you go through the ups and downs, you you always reflect, you know, you always look look upon what's happening. All right. Sometimes you look, you know, retrospectively, meaning you look in the past, right? To look at how the Lord held you through certain things, you know, certain obstacles in life that, you know, we, we all go through, right? That we always pray to the Lord and he, he comes through. Okay. He comes through. And Yahweh Shai said that what? That anything that we ask in his name, he will do. Let me get that. Okay. Um, Let's see if I can get that real quick. Okay, let's see. All right, this is the book of John, chapter 14. <clears throat> and verse 12, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Okay? Now, that, that right there lets us know that we, the disciples, we, the followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in this day and age, all right, the reincarnated uh, uh, spirits that followed Yahweh Shai back 2,000 years ago, all right, underneath the Roman Empire, okay, we're back here again to fulfill our lots, okay? That's why we're doing what we do. There's no one else on this earth that's doing what we do, teaching what we teach, how we teach, okay? Believing what we believe, how we believe, and so on and so forth, man. Okay, and that all fits biblical prophecy. You know what else also fits biblical prophecy? Us being the prophets of the Lord and also receiving spiritual power. Okay, Yahushua just said, "Verily, verily, I say, I say unto you," which means what? Truly, truly, I say unto you, that what he that believeth on me, and we believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Okay, wholeheartedly. All right, that is why when we call upon His name, things happen. Okay, because we believe. Okay, we, we call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, in faith, 100%. And that's what provokes the miracles. Okay? So we believe on him. He said, what well, the works that I shall do, or, or the works that I do, shall he do also. So the works that Yahweh Shai was doing, scriptures tell you that what? There's so many that even the, the all the books in the earth would not, would, would not be able to contain it, all right, if they were to be all recorded. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. OK, so that should tell you something that that, that Yahushua did some very great and, and marvelous works. OK, feeding the multitude. OK, uh, turning water to wine. All right. Walking on water. OK, uh, raising people from the dead. OK, appearing, disappearing, ultimately defeating death. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. The transfiguration. 
Okay? So many different things that he did, man. So many different things. Healing the, 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 the leper. Okay? Cleansing the sick. All fitting biblical prophecy. Okay? And those are the great works that he did. All right? But he said what? And it says what? We do those works and greater works than these shall we do. Right? Because I go unto the Father. Because he goes unto the Father. Okay? So that means what? He's going to bestow that spirit upon us. So when we call upon that name, things can happen. Okay? Verse 13. John 14, verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So that's the key. Whatsoever you, you ask in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, doing it sincerely and in faith, all right, with conviction, okay, he will do it. Okay? Verse 14, if ye ask or if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay? So when he does it, because we believe that he will do it, when we ask, so when he does it, we have to what? Recognize it. We have to praise Yahweh Hashem Yahweh for that. And we have to look at the spiritual significance behind that. Okay, now there are certain things that's happening, all right, and it's all biblical prophecy that, that leads me to believe that we're truly, truly, all right, at the end. We're truly at the end, man. And we're about to get into that time where uh, Revelation, uh, the seventh chapter, all right, takes place. Okay, we're about to start seeing this. Okay, the crowning of the elect. Okay, the crowning of the elect, man. All right, there's a book of Revelation. All right, and hey, man, <laughs> we're about to enter into some beautiful times, man. Okay, the earth is about to uh, 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 finally rejoice. Okay, because the the, 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 the righteous kings, all right, uh, will, will be what? Will be uh, put in power, put in place by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, there's a book of Revelation, chapter 7, and verse 1. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Okay, and what's that talking about? All right, that represents what? The destruction, the, the, the thermonuclear, all right, destruction that's being held up. Okay, for what? For, for all the elect to be sealed. And once this, the elect are sealed, all right, you're going to start seeing, all right, Esau going around and fulfilling the prophecy of, uh, uh, Revelation 13, verse uh, 16, 17, and 18. Okay? And he's going to be doing that to the who? The two-thirds. So that it could fulfill biblical prophecy of the Most High destroying the two-thirds. All right? So they're not going to be uh, see, see hipping the elect. None of the elect are going to get get the M M M M MOTB. Okay? We're going to be what? We're going to be kept from that, that hour of temptation. All right? So none of us are going to go through all right, being uh, sea hipped, we're not gonna we're not gonna take it. All right, it's never gonna end up in our bodies, okay? But the two thirds, oh, you damn right, and that's who it's coming for. All right, so they'll fulfill prophecy. That's just what it is. All right, verse two it says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, <clears throat> and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Okay, and that 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 seal, all right, is going to is going into what uh, um, the, the the word uh, uh, thawa, okay, which is which is basically um, uh, 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 you know exemption from from judgment. Okay, that's what that's was um, in uh, Ezekiel nine uh, verse four and five. Okay, the, the, the seal, all right, is what what uh, uh, shields us from that destruction. Okay, which is what? This, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of, the, of these scriptures, man. Okay, that's what's going to keep us stable in these times. All right? And it will seal our, our, our minds. Okay? It says, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay, so that, that prophecy hasn't happened yet. It's about to happen. Okay, and all signs are pointing to that. Everything that happens before the 144,000 men being crowned as the kings on earth is happening right now as, as, as we speak. Okay, 2022 has been a year of revelations. 
a year of the fulfillment of many, many prophecies in the book of Revelation. And the major last prophecy that we're waiting for is about to be fulfilled in the next very few months. Okay? So what should I tell you? That means that you don't have much time. Okay? And it's going to happen suddenly. Because of the ways of these people and the way they live their lives, they're not paying attention. None of them have no clue what's going on. And when you bring it up, they always say, oh, you know, I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be negative. Well, you're in a negative time. You're in evil times. That should be the only thing you should be concerned about. Instead of trying to paint a picture of, you know, oh, I don't want to be negative. You know, let's be positive. You know, it's the holidays, you know. Things are about to turn red, bloody. There's going to be a crime scene out here very soon. Are you ready for that? January 1st. Certain things are going into effect. And it's going to be a trickle-down effect. And it's going to happen quickly. Quickly. Unexpectedly and quickly. <laughs> Verse 5, it says, Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. So these are the 12 tribes of Israel with the 12,000 uh, 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 kings, okay, who are prophets today, okay, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, that is, all right, some are in the spirit world, all right, and the, and the rest of us are all out here, pushing, okay, pushing, so we can see this very day, okay, so these small hats are, have, have lost, they're done, it's finished, it's over with, all right, this game is done, it's finished, all right, this is the chapter, all right, uh, of the book where the downfall of, of Esau Edom begins. And then we're going to shift into a, ch a chapter where the, the, the destruction of Esau Edom's empire, all right, commences. And then we're going to shift into the next chapter where Esau Edom serves captivity for a thousand years. And then we're going to switch into the next chapter where they get grouped together and cooked, all right? And there'll be no more Esau Edom, the house of, of, of the wicked, all right? So, hey, man, that's and that's what's going to bring eternal life. <laughs> okay? The man of sin will be no more. All right? He'll be no more. So there'll be no more sin in this world. Okay? Verse 6, it says, Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulun were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph, which is Ephraim, we're sealed, we're sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin, we're sealed 12,000. Okay? And then that makes 144,000. 12 going vertical, 12 going horizontal. Okay? 12,000. All right? 12 times 12 is what? 144. Okay? Everything revolves around the number 12. All right? The 12 tribes of Israel. All right? They're, they're what? 12, 12 months of the year. All right, uh, 12 numbers on the uh, on the clock when it comes to time. Okay, so you got time, you got dates. All right, what else? There's there's so many different uh, uh, you know essential things that 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 revolve around the number 12. Okay, so it says uh, verse nine. It says, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. Okay, and that great multitude is those who are separate from the 144,000, all right, from the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? These are separate. These are Israelites from the 12 tribes of Israel, but they're just not of the 144,000, okay? They happen to be of the elect, okay? The elect, all right? From all nations, all right, it says of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, meaning all these other nations that have Israelites in there who are of the elect, they're going to be delivered. Okay? They're all going to be delivered. You're going to have people looking like so-called Chinese people. All right? But they're Israelites. You're going to have people looking like so-called so -called Japanese people, Koreans. Okay? Samoans. So-called Jewish. So-called African. All right? So-called everything in this world. All right? There's Jake's everywhere. Scattered throughout all these other nations, all right, so-called Arab, all right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
so-called Indian. All right. And there's elect who are scattered all throughout there. And guess what? They're hearing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai being preached and they believe. Okay? No matter where they at, no matter what language they speak, they're hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and they believe. They call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and they believe. Okay? That's what's happening. All right? It says, And people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay? So that's talking about who? The elect. All right? The elect who are all of what? The 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? Because those people who get delivered, who's your house shy coming to deliver? All right? Who's your house shy coming to deliver, man? Matthew 24. All right? His elect. All right? This is the book of Matthew chapter 24. All right? And verse uh, 30 says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. All right. It's almost like the 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 the, the angels, all right, the four winds, all right, in Revelation that we just read. Okay, the four different directions, all right, the four cardinal points, if you will, east, west, north, south. Okay, those make the four winds. All right. So <clears throat> again, that the crown, all right, the, the, the coronation, all right, is coming. Okay. Imagine this, man. Imagine a kingdom, all right. <laughs> like just picture having, you know, three thousand people in a in a room. You know, that's a lot of people, you know. Imagine what about fifty thousand people? You imagine having to stand in front of fifty thousand people. In some type of auditorium, be like, damn, that's a lot of people. Fifty thousand people. Imagine having to be at the door, and then checking in fifty thousand people. You know how many times you're gonna say, "Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, 50, <laughs> how you doing? Good morning. How you good morning? How you, how you doing? Hey, yeah, all right, all right. Hey, how you doing? All right, all right. Fifty thousand people, man. But we're talking one hundred and forty-four thousand. One hundred and forty-four thousand. Imagine having 12,000 men in a, in, a, in a conference room. You know how big of a conference room that would be? 12,000 men? Damn. That's a lot of greatness right there. 12,000 men. In anything that you do on earth. If you have a, a whole bunch of men, just to, no women, no, no, no. Just 12,000 men. All under one spirit. In one spirit. Teaching and spit, saying one thing. Oh, you know how powerful that is? Every, the whole world will want to tune into whatever meeting this is. What 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 conference is this? Let me hear this. Twelve thousand men. Now multiply that by twelve. You see now you 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 see how this thing is playing out. So now you you pick you pick you. I right, damn this, this this thing is, and this these are kings, kings one hundred forty four thousand kings. Like damn, this conference hall is going to be so huge. That first, that first party, that 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 big grand celebratory, you know, uh, 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 our kingdom has has finally been been state instituted on the earth. Like we finally here, you know. Let the let the rain begin. You know what I'm saying? Like that that first like hurrah, like yo, let's go. Like you know, we will be praising the Lord. The music is going crazy. Like you know how lively that's gonna be. The whole earth is gonna be shaking, man. The whole earth is gonna be shaking. Why? Because the earth will rejoice. All right, the earth will rejoice, man. Let's get this. All right, this is what this is what's coming. All right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-nine, and verse two. This is when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Okay, and the whole earth is mourning right now. The whole earth is sad. Everything just feels dead. You know, I was talking to my mom earlier today. You know, and um, I was like, yeah, you know, um, a lot of people are taking time off. You know, they got the holidays and stuff. And she's like, holidays? What holidays? I was like, yeah, they got the whole, the, you know, the Christmas thing that they got going on. She said, wait, when? Oh, 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 Christmas. Oh, she, oh, wow. This thing. She said, when is it? Is it this weekend? I said, yeah, yeah. She said, oh, wow. I said, yeah. You know, so that that spirit, that so-called Christmas spirit is gone. That, that shit is dead. Okay. That shit is dead. All right. Everyone is in that dead spirit. You know, normally around this time of the year, everyone is lively. You got music playing. 
you know, people are smiling, exchanging gifts, Merry Christmas, holiday, this. Nowadays, everyone is just so negative. People don't even want to say nothing because you're like, whoa, you know, motherfucker might get offended. I'm not even going to say, you know, people wearing masks. Everybody's just sad. It's just like grumpy looking people. Everybody's running to work like no more break. Like, no. Normally, back then, they used to give like a whole week before like Christmas week. They'll give you a whole week, almost two weeks. Now they just drag everything out till the day 24th. Some motherfuckers be working on the 24th. You know? I remember you used to get like a couple of weeks off during Christmas. Like Christmas, it was like you get vacation, you're chilling. Nah, not anymore. You see? So everything is just dead. Everything is dead. Prices are going up. Tensions are rising. Uncertainties become like the norm. You know, this is all biblical prophecy. You know? These are the signs of the end of this age. Right? Everything is dead. Okay? Because who? The wicked are bearing rule. Listen to what the World Economic Forum is talking about. Okay? Exposing themselves for the devils that they are. And the whole world is watching it and nobody's batting an eye. The, the so-called Christians are not even saying anything. They don't, they don't say shit. The so-called Christians who are supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, Bible believers. Here it is. The MOTB is coming out. Here it is. You got the so-called Vatican. All right. Um, talking about they about to have a, a, a new... Ten Commandments from Mount Sinai or some whole ass shit that they were talking. And you don't hear the Christians even saying anything. Like, that's, that doesn't bother you? That there are people on this earth who are being rebellious, openly rebellious against the Heavenly Father and His Word. You not you don't have a problem with that? To the point where they're about to fulfill the, the biggest prophecy that everyone should be paying attention to, which is the MOTB. All right? Because that's what leads to the destruction of America. That big prophecy... And they're trying to demonize those who say, yo, be careful about this. This is biblical prophecy. If you take it, you're going to be destroyed. Be careful. They're going to demonize us. And you so-called Christians are going to play a major role in demonizing us just because, oh, the Hebrew Israelites. Whatever propaganda that they're going to cook up is going to fail. Whatever narrative they're going to push is going to fail because ultimately... You'll be combated with spiritual power because you're going to do the talking. You're going to do the propaganda. You're going to do the demonization. You're going to do all that shit. That's to fulfill biblical prophecy, but you can't touch us. You see, you could demonize us. You could trick the world to think that we're the bad guys <laughs> while you kill them. That's fine. All right. Ultimately, you're going to bring the war. And you're going to get your ass kicked. All right. Daniel 12 and 1 tells you that. Isaiah 59 and 19 tells you that. So you know the prophecies and we know the prophecies and that's what scares you. Okay, that's what scares you. You wish it would be a thing where it would be a secret. We just never knew. And then you could just pounce and attack and then that's it. Nah, nah. Okay, Revelation 12 and 12 says what? <clears throat> Let's get this. All right, this is the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. So these are things that are yet to come before we enter into the kingdom. Scripture says what? That to, uh, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom, man. Okay. We have to finish and enter into our rest. That means that we're, we're the, the wrestling at war. Okay, we have to finish, and then we can we can get our rest. Okay. Re Revelation twelve and twelve says, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time." Okay, so that's gonna be this time is gonna be when the Lord gives the angels the go-ahead to let go. You know what I'm saying? Let, let go of them plagues. Let go of them seals. All right? And let let, let all hell break loose. And then the, the, the missiles go and start raining. You're going to see. <laughs> You're going to see. People don't believe. You will see. All right? You will see. You got a few months. You'll see. Okay? It says, For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Why? Because we waking up and pissing him off. We're slowing down his, his NWO agenda. That's why you're starting to hear, we need to fight anti-Semitism. That's another way of saying we need to shut down the prophets for exp from exposing us. Okay? We need to uh, do away with conspiracy theories online that has killed millions of people because of misinformation, blah, blah, blah. That's all witchcraft. Anyone who believes that, you're going to get what's coming to you. All right? But for those who see, for those who know, we are the problem to them. All right? 
But ultimately, scriptures tell you what? Touch not my prophets and do my uh, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Okay, Yahweh said that he's gonna keep us in the hour of temptation. So we're gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna keep our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and great things are gonna happen on the on the behalf of the elect. All right. The Mosai is not a man that he should lie. So we believe everything he says. And guess what? He always comes through. All right. He's about to come through for us in the biggest way ever. All right. The biggest, the biggest way ever, man. All right. <laughs> Let's get that. And then I'm going to close it out. All right. Hey, miracles are coming, brothers. Power, power, power. Real, real power is coming. True power is coming, brothers. All right. Infinite amount of wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We're gonna unlock things. Like we're gonna, we're about to do things that the world is going to like just, just marvel. All right, the spirit is about to take things to a, a whole nother level, man. Okay, because Esau is building up on a whole nother level, and he's building up fast. Okay, so the Lord is gonna combat that. He's gonna combat that. Okay, he said it. And he's gonna do it. Okay, he's gonna do it, man. There's a big war coming. All right. And the elect are going to prevail. You people are going to see some shit. OK, you're going to see some shit, man. All these other camps talking shit. The Lord is just doing that. He's setting things up. He's brewing it. He's brewing it. He's brewing it. OK, he's brewing it. And it's going to boil over. and You're going to see. All right. There's a book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse one. It says, and in that in that that time shall Michael stand up. OK, like just like the scripture says in Isaiah 59 and 19, the Lord is going to stand. He's going to set up a standard. OK. Part of that standard is what? The spiritual power and also the angels coming to fight on our behalf. Okay? There's nothing for the Lord to uh, create a force field around a brother. You know what I'm saying? In a time of difficulty. Okay? Or he could he could put some some type of uh, uh, chariot in the middle of, of a brother and his chariot against these so-called, you know, CIA agents or whatever chasing after brothers trying to, you know, sneak after, sneak attack brothers and shit. You know, set brothers up. You know, the Lord is going to protect us like he always does. You know, sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes you have your Wi-Fi on and then you be around and then you see some shit that says like FBI van. And then you, you go outside just to see what's going on, because it's like, why is this popping up all of a sudden? What the hell is going on? You know, it happened to me one time, like a couple of years ago, you know, and I had moved out, you know, by myself. And I'm like, yo, what the hell? You know, and I look outside and I'll be looking at this shit. And I, you know, whenever you see shit like that, you'd be like, yo, what's going on? You start throwing up prayers. You know, how about Shemi Shai deliver you from anything that might be, you know, going on around you? Okay. Like, like King David said, uh, deliver me from, from, the, from the hand of the wicked. Okay. So we always pray for that, man. You know, you'd be driving, you see a, a fucking a damn centurion just pull up right behind you. You'd be like, yo, why is this nigga? Like, he's not, he's not pulling you over. He just like, Almost like intimidating you, like trying to test you, you know? He's stepping right up, he's right behind you, and then he'll give you some space. Then he'll come right by. You'd be like, yo, what's this guy trying to do? You know? Some weird shit. Just, you know, you get all uncomfortable and shit, you know? <laughs> These devils, man. Hey, they're going to pay for all of this. All the mind games, all the uncomfortable shit. Jake got to just suffer for no reason. It's all going to come to an end. Okay? <clears throat> and Esau is going to pay big time. All right, the Lord is going to put his anger within Jake. Okay, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1 says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since that there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. You see that? That's the elect. Those are the ones who uh, John the Revelator saw. All right, and spoke about in Revelation seven verse nine, the the the, the many people from the uh, uh, the innumerable multitude from uh, many nations, kindreds, tongues, and so on and so forth. All right, that's 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 who the Lord is coming to deliver. Okay, those who are found written in the Lamb's book of life, the elect. All right, so it's not for everyone. You can't just not come in and well, you know, I'm 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 looking here. I'm here to be delivered. For, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you 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 gotta join the line, bro. <laughs> yeah, you you gotta join the line, right? Gotta join the line. All right. So that's just what it is, man. But hey, great things are coming. Great things are coming, man. 
You know, I just wanted to share that, you know, with brothers through the spirit. All right. So I'm going to leave it off there, Lord willing, you be notified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukhah Kodash. Wadi Ha Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.